This is Andy Tomlinson. When insuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. As you can see, we're coming to you from the Pike County Fairgrounds. I'm Dan Ramey, along with Joy Bauman. She is uh, one of the new things at the fairgrounds this year, aren't you? That's right. I am the new Pike County 4-H Extension Educator. Well, congratulations on getting the gig. You've been here for several months now. I started the last day of February, so I jumped right into the heat of 4-H enrollment season, and we haven't slowed down since. Spring and summer now, right? Spring and summer, right? Yeah. Uh, of course, the Pike County Fair is uh, coming up this week, so uh, for those of you taking a look, watch the, the scroller. We'll have information for you there uh, to find out details. But Monday is a big day for 4-H at the Pike County Fair. Monday is a big day. That's when we have, starting at 5 o'clock at the Grandstand, we have our 4-H Pledge Contest, and that is for first and second year members, ages 8 to 11, I believe, to compete in the pledge contest. So we like to get them started early with public speaking. Um, that's one of the important life skills that kids learn in 4-H. And then after that, we will have uh, awards. So we'll be presenting all of the awards and recognizing our members who took non-livestock projects. And they had that judging back on July 7th, earlier this month. And so we'll be recognizing those project winners and those who are going to be representing Pike County at the State Fair. And then we'll also be recognizing lots of other folks. We'll be recognizing advisors with years of service. We'll be recognizing um, 4-H members who have, well, this is a new award this year, it's called the Golden Clover. We'll be recognizing 4-H members who are in their final year of eligibility as a 4-H member who have been a member ever since they were eligible to be a clover bud. So oh, wow. uh, it's kind of a <laughs> lifetime achievement award yeah. for 4 H members, if you will. Um, we'll also be uh, recognizing advisors for their years of service, and then we'll be um, moving on to other awards. We'll be having that popular fruit pie auction. So we'll be announcing the winners of the fruit pie contest, the baking contest. Clubs were invited to participate. We had a preliminary judging a couple of weeks ago, and we've selected the top five. Those winners will be announced, and they're baking new pies for the auction. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, and they'll be auctioning off those pies, but all of the money, 100% of the proceeds from that pie sale goes back into 4-H scholarships. Speaking of scholarships, then we'll be recognizing this past year's scholarship winners and presenting them their checks. Um, we'll be doing that on Monday evening as well. Then we'll have the Parade of Clubs, and following the Parade of Clubs is when we will announce the Pike County Fair Queen. My understanding is this year, after the, the uh, Parade of Clubs and the, the Queen announcement, um, actually all past Pike County Fair royalty are invited to come this year to, to see the, the crowning of the new queen, and then they're having an ice cream social down at the multi-purpose building for all of those folks. So we'd like to see all of those past Pike County Fair Queens. Yeah, like we say, Monday's a big day. <laughs> That's a lot right. of neat things happening. A lot there. of things going on Monday. Yeah. Tuesday is the big show. You've got uh, Craig Morgan coming to town. That's right. Tuesday night is the Craig Morgan show. Expect a, a full house. And then we will also, you know, have all of the other regular shows that are going on, the junior fair shows that are going on throughout the week. So um, make sure that you're aware of what's going on each night and watch our Facebook page, the uh, Pike County, Ohio State Pike County 4 H Facebook page to see an update each day. Um, we'll be putting out, like, here's what's going on today at the fair. Yeah, so, and of course, we'll share that as well on Litter Media to try and help get Thank some you. extra coverage for you in that Appreciate fashion. That. Um, Friday, there's an autocross event. You wanna make sure you check that out, but uh, also on Saturday, that's when you jump into sales. Actually, or, Friday, uh, Friday evening. Friday sales, right. Friday evening is the first sale, and I'm gonna double check here, Friday evening. That's the big animals, isn't it? That's right, it starts at five, large animals, and the sale order this year is steers, goats, lambs, and hawks. And then on Saturday morning at 10 is when the poultry and rabbit sale starts, and that is up in the arena, up on the hilltop, on in the Blom Arena. Right, and of course that's where we're at right now, and you'll probably see this with kids getting their picture taken with their animals. That's right, this is the backdrop, <laughs> this is where you want to be. <laughs> you know, of course, uh, there's not a whole lot of activity here right now. There are some 4-H groups that are starting to build their uh, their uh, displays, displays in the exhibit hall, so that's, right. that's, that's going start, on right now. That's starting to happen, and then um, over the weekend, then we'll start to see animals coming in. On Saturday, we start up. The horses will be coming in. We have a horse show on Saturday afternoon. 
starting at 2 and then Sunday is really when all of the livestock starts arriving so yeah. um, and then from there on out it's gonna be busy 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 it, it'll it'll be <laughs> wait until the the first week is August is over. <laughs> and, and, That's uh, right. Everything will be done by That's then. Right. Uh, harness racing gets things started off on the 29th and the 30th. So mm -hmm. if you're a harness racing fan, make sure you get out here for that too. Anything that we've missed you wanted to mention? Just want to encourage everyone to come out to the Pike County Fair and uh, support all of the exhibitors that are participating. And we really encourage all of the, the businesses and individuals to get down and support the Junior Fair sales on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. Bring your cash. <laughs> and they'll probably take credit cards too. <laughs> <laughs> but we really appreciate the support of the community. It is just tremendous. Absolutely. Joy Bauman, thank you. Thank you for having me. And of course, keep watching Litter Media. We'll keep you up to date what's going on at the Pike County Fair, followed by the Ross County Fair and the Scioto County Fair coming up the week after. Thanks for watching Litter Media.